I'm very glad to be here today to present you our latest developments in computational microscopy for health application. If I say to you just one word, microscope, what do you have in mind? Maybe you are thinking about a bulky system that can only be used by someone who is trained to use it. Or maybe you are thinking about the optical adjustments that are required to put the sample on the focal plane of the objective. Or maybe you are thinking about the fantastic images of living samples that can be taken using microscope. At CLAT, we are convinced that a disruptive way of thinking microscopy can be developed. And we have been working for more than 10 years on computational microscopy. We have designed a microscope that is small enough to be put directly in an incubator. We have conceived a system that is very simple and easy to use without any optical adjustment. And at the end, we imagine a smart microscope that will guide the user towards the biological events of interest. A dream that comes true thanks to local data processing and artificial intelligence. Thus the question is, how does this lens-free microscope work? The hardware, as you can see here, is very simple. You just have a LED and a CMOS sensor, and that's all. The raw data are holographic patterns that result from the interference of the light with itself when it passes through the sample. The objective have been replaced by a numerical algorithm that reconstructs the image. The power of lens-free microscopy is that the image can be recorded on the wall surface of the CMOS sensor. And at the end of this video, you can see the full field of view of our lens-free system, which is 20 to 40 times larger than the one of a conventional microscope. This allows to record data with a high statistic. You can image up to 20 thousands of cells at a glance. This lens-free system has been developed with and for different industrial partners. With Oriba Medical, we address the in vitro diagnostic market and more specifically, the blood formulation count. That is to say the counting of red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. And to do so, a strong coupling between sample preparation in a microfluidic cartridge and imaging using our lens-free system is required. We also address the market of bioproduction thanks to a strong collaboration with the startup ePresence. The lens-free system allows, without any staining, the very high throughput counting and the measurement of the viability of the cells that produce biodrugs, such as vaccines, proteins, or antibodies. And I'm sure that these words resonate strongly in your heads with the current COVID-19 pandemic. Lens-free is really a disruptive technology to improve the production yields of those biomolecules of interest. Lens-free technology is a very versatile and simple technology for 2D phase imaging. Nevertheless, for some applications, fluorescence or 3D imaging are required. We also have developed those systems always keeping in mind our leitmotiv, which is to develop smaller and simpler systems. Here, you can discover our bimodal phase and fluorescent system that can be used directly inside the incubator. The system is, again, very easy to use. No mechanical movements are required to switch from one modality to another. To do so, we explode, we explode the chromatic aberrations of the objective. You are in focus for a well-chosen wavelength and out of focus for a second well-chosen wavelength. 
This system, as you can be here, has been applied to follow in real time the vascularization process of organ on chips and more specifically of pancreas on chips, a new tool for diabetes research. In this video, you can observe fluorescent endothelial cells that are at the origin of the vascular network. And in gray level, you can see the Langerhans islet and the fibroblasts that are imaged using the phase modality. All those developments are of great interest for personalized medicine. And the next step in complexity is to develop a simple label-free 3D microscope, a system that will be compact enough to be put in the incubator. This developed system is based on optical diffraction tomography. The sample is enlightened at various angles of illumination. The different diffraction patterns are recorded and the, the object is again numerically reconstructed. Using this system, we are currently working on the 3D imaging of embryos at its early stage of development, a case study of high societal impact to improve the success rate of in vitro fertilizations. Since the beginning of my presentation, I have mainly introduced the different hardware setups that have been developed at Leti. But this is only one side of our development. As I said at the beginning of my presentation, we want to invent a smart microscope. Indeed, microscopy is currently facing a huge challenge. We are recording more and more data. We are filling entire hard drives with data. But the question is, how can we record and analyze only what is necessary. At CEL80, we currently address this challenge. Thanks to deep learning, we want to develop a complete chain of data processing, from the acquisition to the automatic analysis and up to the prediction, with the final purpose to help to record only the biological events of interest. To do so, the first step is to perceive the data, that is to say to record and reconstruct the data. Our numerical reconstruction combines conventional signal processing based on the resolution of an inverse problem with deep learning. Then, the second step is to analyze the recorded data. Thanks to deep learning, we can analyze different features in the image. We can detect the cell, the cell, we can segment the cell. We can also obtain some information about the cell dry mass or the cell speed. And all those information are analyzed at the single cell level and average at the level of the cell population. Finally, as in our brain, or more specifically in our visual cortex, the last step is to combine all those individual metrics with a network of artificial neural network in order to extract only the information of interest. And thanks to artificial intelligence, we can go even further we can now predict in advance some events. As you can see on these videos, we can predict mitosis one hour before the event takes place. Or we can classify the cells in different subtypes that will follow a different fate. Some will become cancerous, while others will remain normal. Thanks to predictive artificial intelligence, we want to automatically identify and image rare events among the whole cell population with the final objective to predict the cell fate and to understand the origin of the cancer. This is the final purpose 
of the European project Reveal that has just started in January. This final step of prediction is the cornerstone, is the cornerstone of our smart microscope. And we are currently working on this challenging topic at CLAT. To conclude, a few years ago, imaging became computational imaging thanks to GPU. Currently, imaging is becoming neuronal imaging. And we are now, and now able to develop ultra compact 3D microscope. Tomorrow, thinking and smart microscope will become a reality thanks to the power of local data processing and neural network. Today, we are working on in vitro diagnostic in hematology, cancerology, or in vitro fertilizations. We are also working to improve the production yield for antibodies and vaccines thanks to land-free imaging. And for tomorrow, we all know that our care system is gradually changing. And tomorrow, we will want to have the best treatment adapted to each patient. At CLET, we have in mind these changes in our future care pathway. And we are working for a more predictive and personalized medicine, developing disruptive non-conventional imaging system such as lens-free microscopy. Thank you for your attention.